aging is a universal issue, and it should be done carefully. Hi, I'm Chris. You might know me as the Bowtie Guy, but now I'm aging gayfully. What about you? Hi, I'm Josh. I'm an ally. Chris, tell me more about aging gayfully. Welcome to Aging Gayfully. We're about adventure, leisure, travel, being a citizen of the world, traveling to destinations, and being a part of the global community as we age and prosper in body, mind, and spirit. Can you believe it, Josh? We're recording a teaser episode of Aging Gayfully. Yes, sir. Inquiring minds want to know, how are you aging gayfully? Well, this is why I'm doing this with you, to try to live into that concept a lot more than I do. When we were talking about building this and what it was all about, we talked a lot about transitions and taking new steps in new directions. So as much as I am a co-host here, I'm also learning and putting myself out there so that I can do that, and I'm thrilled. Well, and I'm uh, thrilled to be a co-host with you on uh, Aging Gayfield because this is all about navigating transitions in life. And our hope is that you listeners will join us right throughout this journey. So for everyone listening, Chris, tell us, who are you? Who am I? Well, some people know me as the bow tie guy, but I've kind of taken off my bow tie and setting sail into a, a new adventure. Well, then just hand that bow tie right on over to me because I love me a good bow tie. I still have a few left. <laughs> you know, at one point I had over 100, but I sent uh, 75 of my bow ties to my great nephew in Indianapolis because he had told his mother, my niece, who told her mother, my sister, that what is, what is the F.U.? Now, wait a minute. The F.U., is a code for a favorite uncle. Ah. Uh, in case, you know, I don't know what you were thinking. You do know what I was thinking. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do know what you were thinking because, you know, it's like, what the, yeah, you, well, well, you know, I've got five siblings, 25 nieces and nephews, 40 great nieces and nephews, and probably there's a few great, great nieces and nephews along the way. They all, they all call me F you, favorite uncle. <laughs> but my great my, my great nephew in Indianapolis, Noah, he had, what is the F you going to do with all his bow ties after he dies? And I thought, no, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I haven't kicked the bucket yet. But you know what I decided to do? Boxed them up. I boxed about 75 up and got his address, sent him a nice note. And he nice. was tickled to life. Well, as long as you put aside like maybe six of them for me, um, I'd be quite happy with that. Might even have a rainbow one or two for you. <laughs> Excellent. Love it. So we do want to invite everyone listening on this journey with us to subscribe to this channel, but let's give you a little taste of what this podcast is going to be like. I'd be kidding myself if I thought I could go out and bowl competitively today, but can I be a competitive gardener? Who knows? You know, that's... <laughs> it just depends on how far you can roll the azaleas down the lane. As we go on in, in the recording, I want to be able to undo my bow tie and have it hanging like Jerry Lewis, you know, in, in the late hours of the telethon. You, you know oh, that? yeah, I remember yeah, that. So he'd be all like cigarette in hand when they, you know, cigarette when they Cigarette and scotch and, and soda on the other hand. <laughs> staggering around asking for the last bit of money, singing a song or two. That's going to be me. Well, <laughs> as a kid driving down Bourbon Street, well, you know, with the lady swinging out the window with her legs. <laughs> you know, you don't, you don't see that too often in the sur suburbs of St. Louis. Um, you know, that was certainly a, an eye-opener. For me personally, as a, as a gay senior... I just don't care what people think of think of me anymore. Uh, it comes from uh, loving yourself, recognizing your talents and skills, and and uh, trying to live in that area of comfort. Removing yourself from drama. Drama is a big word in the gay community. Is <laughs> is there any gay drama here? Well, there's. You know, there's drama really everywhere, but it's how you respond to it. I have to tell you something. I, you want to know who my all-time favorite wrestler was? I love the Iron Sheik. Oh, Sheiky baby. 
<laughs> I love the Iron Sheik. Yeah, jabroni. Yeah. Why the Iron Sheik? That's so random. Was it his mustache? It had to be his mustache. There was just something about him. Of course, his, I always wanted a mustache like that. <laughs> that's that's a great image right there. That's <laughs> I a love great that. image right there. And and we want to hear from our listeners uh, as we as we continue to develop the show. And you know, what are the topics you'd like to like us to talk about? What are some of the guests that you'd like us to interview? You know, how would you like to interact with us? Would you like would you like live shows where you can interact with the host? You know, let us know at uh, yes, I am at aginggayfully.com. That's the email address. Yes, I am, Y E S I A M, at aginggayfully.com. Let us know. This is a collaborative effort that's made of love, care, and commitment. That's right. And so we want all of you to join us on our journey as we talk about travel, not just traveling to different places in the world, but travels of the soul. We encourage all of uh, all of our listeners to subscribe to Aging Gayfully on your favorite podcast channels and we'll be we'll be <laughs> we'll be launching our first official episode on Monday, October 30th. That's coming up here real soon. So please join us. As we age gayfully. <laughs>